hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we're gonna add the car movement so for that what we're gonna do in the game folder we will create a new folder by the name of scripts okay open this up and inside the scripts uh, let's create a new folder again by the name of car controller okay and in here we're gonna create a c-sharp script by the same name car controller okay then if we click on this car let's drag and drop this script let's double click on it all right so it will be open up in your text editor i am using visual studio code all right so let's remove the start and update method and first of all what we're gonna do is we're gonna declare all of the variables which is required for the car movement car steering braking and all of that okay so the first option which we will be adding will be if uh, the player want the car to be front wheel drive real wheel drive or uh, four wheel drive okay so in order to give that option we're gonna create a enum by the name of car type okay and in here what we're gonna do is we're gonna create three options the first one will be by the name of front wheel drive okay then the second one will be rear wheel drive and then the last one gonna be four wheel drive that's it okay in the front wheel drive uh, the motor torque will be applied to the front wheels and in the rear wheel drive the motor torque will be just applied to the rear wheels and as you know in the four wheel drive the torque will be applied to all of the four wheels okay now after this as you know that our game uh, can be played on uh, PC and also on mobile so we're gonna create another enum by the name of control mode okay and what we're gonna do in this is we're gonna provide two option the first one will be if the player want to play it on keyboard and the second one is gonna be button okay or uh, mobile buttons all right let's add a semicolon right there and then let's create a public control mood okay this is going to be this control mood and we're going to name this as control okay so the player can select to play the game either on keyboard or button if i show it to you right here as you can see like this okay and also uh, right after this uh, car type create a public car type let's name this as car type and we're going to say car type dot four wheel drive okay and what this gonna do is it gonna set the car uh, drive to four wheel drive by default okay and also it gonna show this option as well so if you check it right here as you can see by default it will be a four wheel drive but we can select either rear or front okay but we will leave this as four wheel drive for now after this what we're gonna do is now we need a, a reference to the tire game objects okay so we're gonna say public game object let's name this as uh, front wheel left okay then we can copy that paste it and this one gonna be now front wheel right then paste it again this time we're gonna change this to back wheel left and then uh, copy it and paste it and change this to back wheel right okay so this is gonna be uh, references to our tire game object or you can say wheel game object or wheel uh, meshes if you want I don't know whatever you want to type there okay in the header 
now we can just copy this paste it again and this time we will be needing a reference to the wheel colliders okay so we're gonna say wheel collider okay copy it paste it two times i mean three times and change this to wheel collider and also make sure that you type a collider at the end okay because we don't want the game object and the collider name to be the same because it's going to give you an error so now if you save it get back right here as you can see here we have all of the things set up so now let's add the uh, first of all the uh, meshes okay so this is the meshes so front wheel left okay make sure that you add them correctly okay then front wheel right then uh, uh, what is it back wheel left okay so back wheel left right here then back wheel right okay so make sure that you add them correctly like this then let's go to the colliders so front wheel left we can add it in the front wheel left collider then we have this back wheel left so uh, back wheel left collider right here then we have front wheel right so front wheel right is right here and then back wheel right okay so make sure that you add them like this in sequence now after this we are gonna declare variables for our car movement steering and braking okay so let's start from the first one and the first one is gonna be a private float by the name of current speed okay then the next one will be a float and public and this is gonna be the maximum motor torque okay then uh, the next one is gonna be public float as well and this is gonna be maximum steering angle okay and by default this is gonna be 20 okay now after this we need another float and that gonna be maximum speed okay so uh, these are all the variables for the movement okay we actually need to add another uh, float by the name of car speed and the next float is gonna be car speed converted okay and also the uh, motor torque okay now after this let's declare the variables for steering so first of all uh, we need actually uh, we already added a maximum steering angle right there we let's actually uh, type all of the variables in this one place since it has only one header okay so after this uh, the motor torque we let's actually do it right here since all of them are public 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 all right so this one is gonna be a public float and this is gonna be by the name of brake power then uh, the next one is gonna be a public transform and this is gonna be the center of mass of our car okay and then let's create a float at the end by the name of the tire angle 
then another float which is going to be by the name of vertical this is going to be zero and then another float by the name of horizontal we miss an i word there okay horizontal and this is going to be zero as well okay and then we need a bool by the name of handbrake and this is going to be by default set to false okay then we also need a reference to our car rigid body so we're going to say rigid body and let's name this as car rigid body okay then in the start method let's go ahead and uh, set up or you can say assign our car rigid body first of all so we're gonna say get component and we want to get the rigid body component okay then we're gonna say that if the car rigid body is not equals to null okay it means that if it is assigned then what we're gonna do we're gonna say car rigid body dot center of mass and this going to be equals to the center of mass of our uh, com okay so com dot local position now after this we gonna add the uh, car movement and all other things but let's just do that in the next video